What's up, YouTube? It's your favorite cousin tripping. I'm back with another banger. 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 Pow, pow, pow. And, uh... I know you see me on your television, I know you see me on your YouTube, but you don't know me in real life, little homie, you better play it cool. Never let your left hand know what your right hand finna do, cause they gon' study your every move, try to imitate what you bout to do. Yeah, and uh, what we bout to do, uh, as you can see, um, uh, Chef Boy Ali is back in the kitchen, and um, this one, this one is special. This one is delicious. This one is scrumptious. This one is hard, and this one is oh, you know um, them little things that um, hanging on the side of your cheeks. Them two little bumps that be right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, when they start salivating and watering and uh, yeah, that's what's happening right now because oh when i tell you i already know this gonna bang so you might as well go ahead and hit the like button right now thumbs up new cousins all y'all you know what i'm saying go ahead you know uh because it's a banger it, it's a banger i could tell y'all what it is right now but let's just roll the intro all right i know you see me on the television i know you see me on the youtube but you don't know me in real life little homie you better play it cool love you cousin true like it, then do somebody you mad about it, then do somebody you broke, nigga, then do somebody you ain't getting bitches, then do somebody, do somebody, do somebody, do somebody, boy, you better do somebody. We making um trip zanya. Y'all don't like that. One of the cousins gave me that, and I figure I use it. It sound like it had a nice little ring to it. You know, uh, lasagna. You know, uh, with a, a trip twist on it. Now, this ain't no regular red sauce lasagna. This ain't no Stofa's lasagna. This ain't your mama's lasagna where it just be like some um noodles with some uh, little sauce, ketchup, paste, and all that. No, no, no. This is chicken Alfredo lasagna. Did you hear me? I said chicken alfredo lasagna. Yes. And anybody who know me, like my family, they know my lasagna bang. Can't nobody beat me in lasagna. I don't care what you do. I don't care. If you could be from Italy. And you still, you. I don't care. Chef Ramsey, my lasagna bang. And um, that's what we're doing in this video. We're making chicken alfredo trip lasagna. Yeah. I'm going to set up. And then and, and let's get let's get to it. Let's get to it. Now y'all know this is ghetto kitchen. Don't be coming up here thinking you know it's gonna be, you know, all of that. Long as it tastes good, we good. Alright? It's a very simple recipe. But I'ma tell y'all, what you gonna need? You gonna need some of this. You gonna need some of that. You gonna need some of this. You gonna need some of that. Now you want to get you some chicken breast, you know, uh, marinate your chicken breast, you know, um, and marinate them overnight. That's fine. Prepare it overnight. Get your chicken breast nice and tender. You know, don't nobody want no tough um, lasagna, you know, chicken up in the lasagna. You know what I'm saying? But what I do, because this is trip lasagna, you see that? Fresh and delicious. That's a rotisserie, whole chicken. What I do is, I chop that up. And I use that instead of, you know, um, the regular chicken breast. It just adds a little extra oomph to it. You know, everybody want a little oomph. You know what I'm saying? And um, now we making our uh, Alfredo sauce from scratch. You know what I'm saying? You just need some butter, some heavy whipping cream. You know, some garlic, um, some garlic powder, some onion powder, you know, season it, some pepper, you know, um, get all that. Let me just show y'all. I, mean, I, I can show y'all better than I can tell y'all, okay? What you want to do is get you a half a stick of butter. Put that in there. You see that? 
half a stick of butter. I don't want to see y'all trying to use no margarine or nothing like that. You get you some garlic. You can't go wrong with garlic now. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared of the garlic. You know, um, if he love you, he ain't gonna care, you know, about your breath smelling, you know, after this meal. Um, because it's gonna be so good. Ooh, look at that. You know, oh my God, the garlic always smells so lovely and delicious. And you see that? Melting that butter up in there. What you wanna do is, get you some heavy whipping cream. Mm-hmm. You see that? Heavy whipping cream. Um, you want to pour that in. Like so, like that. <clears throat> Stir that around. You see that? We making, we making, um, Alfredo sauce. You want to get your seasonings. You know what I'm saying? You want to put some pepper in there. You see that? You want to get you some, um, lorries. Y'all know about lorries. Now see, hold on. I know y'all like why he ain't have all that prepared. Bear with me. You know what I'm saying? This ain't like all them other cooking shows. We keep it 100. You want to sprinkle you a little lorries in there. Um, you want to get you some um, garlic powder. You know, I know it's already some garlic in there. But you know, a little more ain't going to hurt. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else we got up in here? Um, do we got any onion powder? Yep. You got to keep you some onion powder on deck. Mm-hmm. Sprinkle that onion powder in there. I love onion powder. You can go a little heavy on the onion powder. Stir that around. Let it get thick. You know, since we, you know, cooking, you, you get you a nice little, you see that? I got utensils and all that. We're going to stir that around. Oh, look at that. You see how that's coming into formation? That's coming into formation. We got a little more. Mm-hmm. Don't be scared. Don't be scared now. Yes. Stir it. Whip it. Whip it. Now let it whip, whip it, baby. I'll whip it right. We gonna let that thick up, and that—that's that, really it to make your um Alfredo sauce. Now look at that; it's starting to thick up. You see that flavors and um freckles and pimples and all of that stuff up in there. That means you're doing it right now. When that start to thicken up a little bit. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and add the main ingredient to your Alfredo sauce. You want to go ahead and sprinkle some of that monster. What is that? Uh, Parmesan cheese in it. Go ahead. You can't never do be too cheesy. You can never be too cheesy. You can be too greasy, but you can never be too cheesy. You see that? Fold that into it. Y'all see how I'm using them cooking words? Folding. Fold that cheese into it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Ooh. Oh. That's what the sauce is saying right now. You see how that just melted all into it? I'm going to add some more. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't be scared to indulge. You know what I'm saying? Because this is once. You probably make this once. A couple times a year. Fold that cheese into it. Oh, it's getting thick. It's getting thick. Holla, man. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's been, um, you know, marinating and soaking in all them juices and stuff like that. Now, you want to get you a spoon, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wait a minute, though. You see how that cheese just dripping off? Mmm. Let me taste this. You always got to taste your food. 
I ain't even lying to y'all. I, I do this so good, I, even, I already know what to do, how to sprinkle. You know what I'm saying? Our parents ain't never measure or none of that. They just... And bam. That Alfredo sauce. Bang. Your, your Alfredo sauce got to bang. If your Alfredo sauce ain't banging, you, you ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't doing nothing. That bang. Oh, my God. Oh my 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 my! What do we have here? Is a bird? Is a plane? No, it's a rotisserie chicken. Look, what we gonna do is we gonna cut that thing. We gonna cut it, and what we gonna do is now you don't need the skin. You don't really want the skin up in there, even though the skin is so delicious. You can put that on off to the side and eat that as a snack. Um, later, you know, for my obese cousins, uh, we're gonna cut this chicken up, and um, this is gonna be the chicken for the Alfredo, the chicken trips on you. We got everything cooking, everything is percolating, my water boiling, my Parmesan, um, Alfredo sauce, homemade. Alfredo sauce. This ain't the type you buy from the stove that's already made because that ain't putting your love into it. You got to put your foot into this thing when you're cooking. You know, this is trip zanya. You know what I'm saying? Um, but while we doing all that, I got to talk to my cousins because, you know, um, how do I say this gently? I've been kind of pickle harassed lately. Um, Okay, let me just tell y'all, at work, um, I caught my co-worker staring down at my pickle. And it's a female, you know, um, and I just think it's a double standard when it comes to these females. I mean, she was staring down at, I mean, I, my eyes up here. She's sitting down and she having a whole conversation with me right here. And it, it came to the point where I had to look down to see if anything was, you know, uh, uh, poking out. Ladies, and it's not only the ladies, you know, because I know it's like, oh, you a man, you shouldn't be a, okay, but the Korean guys, they pickle harass me too. They always talking about, you know, how, you know, big American pickles is and, and this and that. And, you know, we got a shower at our job, you know, people be taking showers, they be walking around that boy naked. And I brought my towel and, you know, stuff like that. But once I started realizing that I was getting pickle harassed by the Korean men, I said, I'd never take a shower up in here. I don't want y'all looking at me and, you know, being jealous of me and hating on me, trying to get me fired because my pickle is bigger than your pickle. You know, but it's like they already know. They just already medically assume because you black that um you hung like Donkey Kong. And it's just like, <sighs> now nah, it really is a double standard. I can like, my ugly cousins, <sighs> Y'all know we love y'all. It ain't our fault that um, your mama, you know, uh, chose to get with an ugly guy and y'all thought the kid was going to be cute because y'all thought he was going to have, you know, our genes on the um, on your mama's side. But you ended up getting most of your daddy's genes and you came out ugly. But we still love y'all. Y'all the best cousins ever. But, you know, um, it's a thin line between, um, how do I say this, uh, harassment. And flirting now if you cute it's okay you just flirting you know and, and hey what's up if you say oh it's okay but if you ugly it's harassment don't nobody want that don't stop you know hollering and, and flirting and all of that and this go for y'all people too like in the in the dms make sure you cute if you're gonna be hollering at somebody because you know we're gonna get you blocked you know we're gonna report you to um the people and all of that kind of stuff you know that's why half of y'all don't show y'all face because y'all know you ain't uh, you got a face only a mother of love and some of y'all mamas don't love it you know it's just it's just a thin line, and I know it's a double standard. You know, some of y'all be acting like, oh, no, I don't like this. But as soon as a, a cute person hop up in your DM 
You all fine with that. First thing you do is go look at their page. Oh, he's sexy, so I can I can take it from him. But if an ugly person do it, oh, bro, don't be sending me that type of time. I ain't on that type of time. You keep it one way or the other. Either you do or you don't. You will or you won't. But y'all got to stop pickle harassing me. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop staring at pickle. Um... Stop making little jokes about, you know, how big it is. You know, one guy actually, you know, came to the urinal and was like, hey, nice. And I'm like, bruh, no, it ain't that type of time. But um, if you ever been pickle harassed or, you know, ladies looking at you, and you know, if you do that to the ladies, you know, same thing with them. If you're sexy... It's flirting. If you're ugly, they gonna make a report on you. So be careful. Make sure you know, you know, what you is. Before you start flirting with these ladies and doing all that kind of stuff or harassing them. Because I don't want you to lose your job. You know, I don't want you to lose your job. You know, um, but yeah, we gonna get back to this water that's boiling. We gonna put the pasta noodles in there. I'm gonna show y'all how that go down and all of this kind of stuff, man. We making trips on you and it's, and it's lovely. I got my noodles done. Um, I done ran them in some cold water. You know what I'm saying? My Alfredo sauce is done. You know, um, I've been cleaning as I go. Um, I done tore this bird up. You know, then that's what you want to do. You want to shred that chicken up. You know what I'm saying? So you can make it nice and right when you put it into your lasagna. I done washed out my pan, got everything together. And the only thing left to do is really just put this lasagna together. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> I got everything prepared now. What you want to do, you see I got everything, you know, over here already. Now, what you want to do, mm, you want to add a little bit of that mixture to the bottom of your pan just to coat it. Now, I put the ricotta in there. You know what I'm saying? Coat the bottom of your pan with that. You know what I'm saying? Get that all spread it out with love. Spread it out with love. Now I'm doing this with one hand and I'm gonna show y'all the first layer. Spread that all around. You see that? That's that flavor. And then you want to take your noodles, put that in there. That's the first layer. You see that? Take the noodles, put it in there. That should take about three noodles if you got a pan this size. You see how I did that? And then you want to take your chicken. My hands clean now. I told y'all I keep my hands and my ass clean. So you want to take some of that chicken and you want to spread that chicken all in there. You see how I shredded up that chicken? That's why I shredded it up like that. And you want to layer, put that whole layer of chicken in there. This is that deliciousness, guys. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. You can put as much chicken as you want on that thing. You see? You see how that is? Now, once you got your layer of chicken, is you want every bite to be full with flavor and chicken. Then you want to take your Alfredo sauce and put that right there for a minute. And you want to put that sauce in there. Put that sauce in there. You see that? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. You see that? Spread that sauce on out.
spread that sauce on out. <clears throat> then, what you want to do is, you want to take, I told y'all it's going to be cheesy. You want to take your Parmesan cheese. Let's put that in there. You see that? Mm-hmm. Like so, like that. Like so, like that. You see that? Oh, oh, oh. Pour it all on there. Don't worry about it. I got another bag. And then you want to take... Mm. Hold on. Hold on. You want to take... Mozzarella. You want to take some mozzarella cheese. You want to put that in there too. I like to mix them. You see that? Ain't this so easy to make, y'all? I'm only show y'all this once. Sprinkle that mozzarella in there. Don't be a, don't be afraid now. You can't be afraid. You can't be no scared chicken. This ain't no scared chicken. I, see that? Ooh, you see how that sprinkles on there? Now this is where I kick it up a notch. You take some spinach. And you spread that spinach on there. You can put as much spinach on there as you like because the spinach going to work down. Ain't nothing wrong with spinach. I like a lot of spinach in mine. You see that? And you repeat the cycle. That's all you got to do. After that, you repeat the cycle. Now, I'm going to finish this up. And, um, yeah, we're going to get this thing in the oven. And um, I'm going to show you how it looks when it gets done. All right? Holla. Hey, baby. You hungry? I made you something. Oh, I got some bath water running. And here's a glass of wine. Cheers. Okay, it ain't wine, it's juice, but y'all get the point, man. Look. Come on now. <laughs> Y'all want to see me test this? Come on now. Come on now. Oh. 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 Mmm. 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 Oh my God. OMG. I'm out, man. I don't know what else I can say. Get you a trip. Holla.